Once participants start to register, they will appear in the participant list within your competition. You can search for a participant by their last name or use the filters to narrow down the list on your screen. You can also sort the way the data is displayed by using the arrow next to each of the column headings. If new player approval is turned on at the association level, all new players will appear as pending. Select view next to a participant to open up their profile. Use the tabs along the top to view suspension and incident history, the participant's membership if applicable, and transfer and permit history. On the right hand side, you can view a participant's personal information which they entered at the time of registration. A participant can update their own information by logging into their PlayHQ profile. To update first name, last name, or date of birth, the participant will need to contact the relevant support team. To manage a player's registration status, select the arrow next to their current registration. You have the option to approve or cancel a registration. Once a player is approved, they can be added to a team. To cancel a registration, select Cancel Registration and enter a reason. Once a registration is cancelled, the participant will be removed from any teams and will no longer be available for selection in a lineup. Access is given by the association to approve new players. If you do not have access to approve a registration, this step will need to be completed by your association. You can also access a participant's profile by navigating to the participants tab from the main menu. From here, you can search for a participant using the search fields. Select view to open up the same view of a participant's profile, which we saw earlier. A participant report can also be generated to download a list of all participants into a CSV file.